Hi guys, welcome back to Race 2 review. So this one is from Santy Croaks or Panty Crow or some fictional place in France that is actually quite a good track. Um just not one I know anything about. So um the race you're about to see is a reverse grid based on the results of the first race that you've just that you will have seen. I'll put a link into it in the channel below and all that sort of stuff. But basically I won that race. Um, so which means I'm going to be starting at the back here and my task is essentially from last to question mark challenge in this one. Um, I'll not spoil the surprise, I'll keep the tension going, clickbait the title, all that shit. Um, but yeah, essentially we're, um, we're, we're just going to be coming from the back. Um, anyone that finished at the back in the last race will be at the front in this one, so this I'm trying to say this in the nicest way possible. It's hard to do it, but it causes absolute mayhem for like two laps until the field sort of sorts itself out. Because um, those guys that... What's a nice way of putting it? Um, us guys that basically just want to get up the front again. Um, we can be impatient. I know I can be impatient. Um it's all about the start if you get a really good start you're flying this Porsche does have a habit of bogging down from the start so anyone in like a Ferrari or a BMW or something like that should do well and get away well um, I expect to probably bog down a little bit I don't know the track too well either um, so in the week preceding the start of the GTTCC I've done six laps of it um, it just kind of makes sense. I mean, I was I was following around a lot of the Fusion League guys, so I picked up a lot of things from them. Um, but all the same, I didn't know the track coming into it that well. So we'll get underway. We'll have a look at it. We'll get the replay going. Um, I've watched bits of it. There's not too much I've picked out to cover, so I guess we'll just do a raw commentary and just see how we get on. Um, I'll clip it and edit it throughout, so there's, there's bits that I'll just skip. If I miss bits, I'm sorry. Um, I know a lot of the guys that watch this are MRC guys, and I do usually put a post up saying send me any info. Um, I've got some bits to look at, um, but other than that, let's get into it. So just as we wait for the replay to load then... Um, you can check out Dark Smoker's POV over on his channel, I'll throw a link to the description below, there'll be a load of links in the description below basically, um, and at the end of the video I'll sort of talk you through a number of them that are going to be there, but there's also a link to Mature Racing Club, which is the club I drive for, um, that'll be in there as well, um, I've started listing, because people have asked what kit I use, so I've started listing that, anyway, here we go, so you see the grid, in reverse order, to just flick something on in a minute which is the rate info so I'm just gonna go into the options but you can see I'm last let's just flick this on yeah display all wicked right so from the back then let's just start with someone let's start with his mid mid pack in so I'll start with Turner actually because I think Turner does get an absolute flyer um, in that BMW, so yeah, he, look at that, he just flies off of from 6th to like 2nd or something, another good person who starts well is Dark Smoker, he gets up, Wilkie gets up there well as well, um, I don't do that well, I'm sort of still at the back at this stage, um, as we see a couple of cars go off, Dark Smoker's still making places, I'm in 11th, so I've made up one place, I think. Mean. Uh, let's see if everyone gets through this first corner. So Shearer 20 is still leading the pack, uh, followed by CB Gamer. Uh, then we've got Turner in third. See Wilkie going off in the background there. Cyrex in fourth. Dark Smoke has made up another place past B rated and he's into fifth. Um, I'm not far behind this. My teammate Hals is chasing these guys down. Vial is in eighth. I'm now in ninth. So I've made up another place. Uh, we'll just flick through and see what's going on. Uh, Dark Smoker's got a run on Sayer X here because he went a little bit wide, so can he make up another spot? He just moves to cover off that line by B rate. It gets a little bit tasty. Uh, Shira 20 is still in the lead. Comes in building the gap, actually, to be fair. He's got a high cap going on. Um, Turner gets CB Gamer on the outside. That's a wonderful move. Respectful from both of them. CB gives him plenty of room. 
Um, Dark Smoker just makes it past Sayrex as they go into the sweeping right hander, so the braking for that one just really unsettles the car, and if you get it wrong, you're in the wall. Um, very easy to get that wrong, as Jeff nearly, nearly takes the wall out. Um, yeah, we'll see, we'll catch up with everyone and see how we're going on. So, looks like Dark Smoker's now up into third position, so he's making fantastic moves through the field. Turner's into first, he's got Shearer on the inside. Has he? Does Shearer? No, Shearer just looks like he gets himself in the gravel. Yeah, he does. Uh, a few more movers and shakers in the field. Well, at this stage, I'm in fourth. Uh, staring on the back of my teammate, Has. Um, we're coming on to finish the first lap. Um, I get a very good exit out of this corner on Haz and just get the run on him here. Um, I can see Dark Smoke and Harry fighting. Harry, uh, um, sorry, Turner gets it uh, a little bit wrong coming out of that corner, so I get a little bit of a speed advantage on him. Uh, I'm going to look to make a move into the first corner as he flashes his lights trying to put Dark Smoke off. Um, so I pop my nose into the inside. A bit late on the brakes. Can afford to do that in the Porsche. Drift it out wide. I know if I cover the apex off, he's not going to get a chance to cut back and make a move because I've now got the inside line for the next corner. Um, all the while, Haz is looking at this, thinking, "How can I get involved?" Um, so I just cut the line off. Just take the apex. Um, don't give Turner a chance to cut back in on me. Uh, now the racing line is is completely mine as we ride on board with Haz. He's got a great view of this little battle going on for second place. Uh, Haz is obviously willing to pounce on any mistakes either of us two make as he just takes it nice and easy going into that section. Um, another corner that can unsettle the car very well as looks like Turner's just found out. Um, Haz has now got a move going over the bridge so he's now up into third. Um, Dark Smoke is starting to pull a gap at this point. He's got about a second on us. Um, he does start to pull that, so he's very quick at this circuit, he's Dark Smoker, and you can see his POV um, in the links below. Um, I'm behind now, but I'm going to start getting a little bit of pressure from Harry. Uh, Turner's kept it in fourth position so far, with Viala chasing him down. Uh, Viala takes a really nice line through that, but does he nudge yet? Yeah, he just nudges the wall, that's going to let B-Rate it up. Uh, B-Rate's now got a run on Viala, so he's going to pop his nose down the inside. So he's going to get that move done nice and early. Um, Mutt is in seventh, sort of building him and CB Gamer just building a little bit of a gap to everyone else. Uh, Jeff's just poking his nose in now. He's, he's into the top ten. Is Jeff and Wilkie's joining him? Uh, Wilkie's now joined by Shearer. Um, so it's looks to make made a mistake somewhere along the line, along with Akbar Gaming. Um, and Steve Stones, who for some reason didn't start, he, he stopped on the start line and just didn't move. So I'm not sure what happened there. You see me maximising track limits there, just going all the way out the back. But I'm being now hounded by Harry. Um, we've sort of lost Turner and B-rated. So Turner's doing a job and holding B-rated up here. He is quick at this circuit. The Porsche is probably a better super car to this, this track. Um, the BMW, although it's a quick car probably doesn't corner as well given the weight distribution as the Porsche does. The Porsche is a lot more fifth I wanna say fifty fifty, but it's easy. the centre of gravity is a lot lower as well than that Porsche. It just handles better. Um, the BMW can get a little bit boaty. Um, as can the GTR. So the GTR is sort of similar in that sense. Um Mutt sort of catching up to the back of Viale and then he's got a bit of a gap to Wilkie. And we'll see how everyone goes on. So for now, we'll just catch up with the action when things start tasting up again. Another good battle to keep an eye on now. Uh, it's going to be Viali and Turner. So these guys going at it. So we'll just jump on board with Viali. As he chases the BMW down. So we've seen Viali take this corner really well. He's going to take a bit of a sharper line than Turner. He does turn across him, which is fine. He can do that. Um, okay, I'll just ask it back off the throttle, that's going to sacrifice him a little bit of speed. Uh, but Viali should have a good bit of slipstream now coming down into the, uh, the very tight right-hander, which is proving to be one of the prime up overtaking spots on this circuit. So Viali just tucks back in, is he going to make a move? He's not. Uh, but you can get a move made on exit if you've got a better exit speed, so we'll just see how this one turns out. 
Uh, so next section of the corners can be taken flat um, if you've got the balls and if you've got the right line. Um, a little bit of a lift here sometimes helps us. Our turner takes that too deep. It's going to just scrub away a lot of speed. That's got the Viali through. Uh, Viali's got that move made, but now he's got uh, another little straight coming up to defend it. Uh, he's just run on board to Turner. He's close enough at this stage to pick up a really good slipstream. He seems to stay in that and pop his nose out at the last minute. So he's going to have a, a really good opportunity just. No, Viali just late on the brakes. Uh, really good move by Viali there. And again, he's going to have to go defensive though, going into the next uh, uh, the next sort of overtaking spot, which is this 90 degree left. Uh, looks like they both get on the brakes relatively easy, but Turner's now going to want to fill his GTR's mirrors with BMW. Um, going to want to let him know he's there. He's there. Viali's currently the fastest man on track, so he should be um, he should be pulling away a little bit. As you see, turn is literally just, yep, yeah, left, right, I'm here. You will not forget I, I exist. Um, turn just gets his exit a little bit wrong there, but respectful driving from these guys. Uh, really good little battle to cover. Let's see what else we've got going on. Might advance the race a little bit. Viali now coming under pressure from Mutt. Who's in sixth position? He's got himself past Turner. Um, Mutt's been on a on a good race so far, and he's he's got himself up a few positions. Uh, Viali is going to be vulnerable coming into this straight. That Porsche is really quick in the straight line. It's nice and light. Uh, Vanny gets a good exit out of this uh, out of this corner. He's, he should get the move done. To be fair, he should get the move done coming into the next turn. So he gets lost, but the slipstream pulls out. Got the move done and made. We can now choose the inside line for the next turn. Uh, Viali going to be close enough to get to uh, get back in. I don't think he is. He looks too far back, and that's more up into fifth. And he's got B rated not too far ahead. So, um, given the pace that Mott's doing at the minute, he's lapping in the two fourteens. Um, the potential is that he can uh, he can get up there. Well, all that's going on then we've got some action at the top so currently we've got dark smoker uh, leading the way with has 91 in second and myself chasing them both down in third uh, so dark smoker at the minute's winning out on this battle um but has is fast in that slipstream and looks like he's gonna pop his head out for a move going into this very tight right hand he does so dark smoker is Plenty of room goes out wide, opens the door for me almost, and I get my way through. Looks like a little bit of contact. Um, everyone manages to survive that. Um, has, has, uh, has, has um, got himself down. Let's have another little review of that and just see what sort of happened. So we'll go on from Dark Smoker's perspective, so we'll see what he saw. Um, so obviously, he knows that has his coming, he can see that. Uh, so gives him the room, very respectful. But for some reason it's slow going in and that sort of opens the door for me. Has runs himself out wide, that's what happened to Has and I do make contact on my way through. So let's go on board with me. We've got the benefit of my cockpit view. So we'll go back to here. So I can see Dark Smoke is slow and I can see the my space to first uh, sector times are absolutely just tumbling. Um, I see this gap. Um, I do try and avoid any contact um, we'll have another look at that um, yeah you'll see I do try and avoid any contact I don't aim to spear him off the track the second I think there's going to be contact my steering wheel goes full right um, through I go though to first Dark Smoke is still there he's not going to leave me alone he's not going to let me have this one easy um, let me know what you think of that in the comments um, did you think it was a fair move did you think I was I should have given that place back uh, eager to know your thoughts. Um, Dark Smoke, you're exempt from voting in that one. Um, yeah, I'd, my opinion is it was on the very edge of fair. So, of course, I like to race in a no contact at all environment. That's what well, so I said, no contact at all, other than the odd little bit of a door bang and shuffle when you're going through reverse grids and stuff, that's to be expected. But um, that in real world would have probably cause damage um, so again 
again, not ideal. That's kind of my barometer on it, but I thought it was better. The, the gap was there, the space was there, I was quicker at the time um, in terms of mile per hour versus mile per hour. Um, and I could have made the move stick. Um, I didn't have much time to react. There was a wide open gap, and I did react in time. When I did, I reacted um, in a way that tried to avoid the collision. Anyway, let's skip forward a little bit and uh, see what happens more towards the end of the race. Jumping forward a little bit now, we're looking at the battle for eighth. Uh, this is Shearer versus Wilkie. Shearer just gets it wrong on the exit. I'm just going to give Wilkie the opportunity to throw a move up into turn one. Let's see if he does that. Uh, so he just poke his nose in. He's going to have the move made. He's going to sacrifice his exit speed though, so Shearer, Shearer does well just to cut, try the cut back. Uh, which it looks like he's, he's effective and he's going to get the place made. That is, however, going to give him the outside line again going into the left-hander, so that's not the ideal line. Wilkie could have probably done with cutting the track off a little bit more, so he's, he's, he's nerfed himself a little bit there, and it's going to let Shearer up. Uh, we're coming into the Porsche's strongest bit, though. Uh, let's see if Wilkie can uh, make the advantage stick. Um, holds a nice tight line, clips all the apexes beautifully. Um, probably just a bit too far back to make a move. Uh, for the time being, uh, Shearer's winning out in this battle and Wilk is conceded. Uh, Steve Stone's not too far behind um, in 10th. Uh, Jeff is having a bit of a lonely race. Uh, CB Gaming, Sarah X, not too far ahead from each other currently. So these guys are battling it out for 10, uh, sorry, for 12th as we speak. Uh, Sayrex is on his fastest lap of the way so far, so uh, he's obviously got to pace this late on. Let's catch up with the action in a couple of laps time. Let's battle the action then, lap 12. We've not got too long to go with this one now, we're, we're into the dying minutes of the race. Uh, the timer will be just clocking down to three minutes remaining as Shearer and Wilkie are, are still going at it. Um, Wilkie's going to throw a move up the inside. Both guys giving each other plenty of room. Um, I've got to take note of that, seemingly. Uh, so Wilkie's going to hang in there though. And again, this is a section where the ball should be quicker. It's going to have a better rotation, it's not going to have as much body roll as that Mustang, it's going to lose the speed through the corners like the Mustang is going to. Um, and you can see the pace difference between the two at this stage. The, the Mustang has got the gun. Uh, you get a decent, uh, both guys get a decent exit out of that corner, I'd probably argue that Shearer took the line better there. Uh, but Wilkie, as we know, loves a mover down into turn one. Let's see what he manages to do, he does make that move stick. Again, is, is Shearer going to go for the cutback? He's not going to get it done at this point. Wilkie does block that line off. Uh, he's going to force him round the outside. Good racecraft by Wilkie. And let's see if Shearer manages to hang it round the outside. Does Wilkie? Wilkie, for me, probably too nice, you know. Gives him too much room. Nerfs himself every single time. That he could probably do with just, when you're moving into the braking zone, literally give him a car's length. Um, you're going to force him to go slower. Um, the only option he's then got is to break earlier and come back. Um, and if you position your car right, you ain't going to be able to do that. So, um, yeah, probably a bit too nice though. Not a bad thing, not a bad thing. So as we approach the final laps then, so we're ticking on for a minute left officially in the race and whatever lap you're on is your final lap. So we're, we're really close to the end of this one. Uh, let's flick through from the top, actually, so uh, I'm coming through to start my, uh, what will be my final lap. Uh, so, so far since getting past Dark Smoker, I've, I've built a gap, I think I'm running about 7 or 8 seconds at this stage. You're just coming around the last corner now, so yeah, we're probably looking at about 7 seconds. Um, currently holding the fastest lap of the race as well, but I set that nice and early, so... Um, not to worry too much. Uh, we've got Dark Smoker in the Kika pillar. And you'll hear a little bit more about why uh, why the Kika thing is important in just a moment. If you haven't ever watched one of my videos, you'll, you'll know why I mention it. Uh, Has Night One is chasing Dark Smoker down. Dark Smoker has not managed to sort of shake him off, to be fair. So these guys are really evenly matched in pace. Uh, 
high, man. Not far behind either of them either. Uh, it just gets a little bit out of shape coming out of there, but that's okay. He saved it. Uh, Mutt 36 has had a bit of an interesting race. He's made a few little errors. He's had some battles with Viali, um, which at this minute in time he's, he's come out the victor of. Um, but he will probably be ruined and thinking, what if? Because um, he definitely, definitely, definitely had the pace to be to be further up the grid than he actually was there. Uh, so Viali then he's been chased down. Not me, he's not been chased down, he's lapped someone. My apologies. <laughs> uh, Viali's in a comfortable sixth position. Hasn't really got much to worry about. Turner behind is a couple of corners back. Uh, Shearer is an eighth. Uh, Wilkie will tell you that he finished the, the race in, technically in first because he was the first one to cross the finishing line. Uh, Steve Stones has solidified his tab spot with Jeff coming home in 11th. Uh, CB Gamer's got 12th. And Sayrex is going to get 13th. So we'll follow myself as I come through um, the last couple of corners. I just need to get through these clean without making any mistakes. I'm not, as you can probably say, not pushing too much uh, just making it nice and comfortable uh, to win this race I'm really happy with how this turned out considering the practice I had which was bare minimum I was really happy with how this one turned out and uh, really happy to come home and win this one uh, especially given the competition we had today so Dark Smoke was on form in this race um, really tough competition you know Put in an excellent race, so did Has91. Uh, B rated, uh, solid fourth position. Mutt in fifth, again, we'll probably be looking at the back of that Ginsters Mobile and thinking he could have been there. Um, Viali, an, uh, an, an eventful race for this man, uh, but a, a well a well earned sixth position. Um, is he the. Yeah, he's the first non Porsche, so a good showing. Turner in the BMW M4. He's had an eventful race as well. Been involved in a lot of battling. Uh, held his own very well throughout the race. And Shearer, after that battle with Wilkie, um, comes home to claim eighth. Um, so well done to all the racers. Uh, let's have a chat now. Hi right, guys. Just well, um, just after that race is done. I thought I'd just jump on board in my car for my start and we'll just have a bit of a chat, shall we? Not long, guys, to be fair. I just wanted to um, recap something. Oh, that's what happened to Steve. He absolutely bounced it into the wall. Oh, okay, fair enough. Uh, anyway, well, that's playing in the background. Just to talk to you about Kika. So, uh, I'm going to mention this in every single, um, uh, every single video I do, whether it be a live stream or one of these type things. Um, reason is I'm passionate about it and I want it to take off and I want it to do well, not just for the guys that do it because they're, the, they're a lovely, lovely set of people, um, but because it's a worthy charity. It's not like it's not a GoFundMe to go and buy me a new, you know, bloody sim racing rig or anything. It's, um, it's a charity. Bloody, I've got to that. Um, it's a charity that. Um, invest in preventing, curing and researching cancer in children which is, which is bloody awful I think you'll agree. Um, so the, the premise of it is is Azure Racing Club, Next Gen Racing, um, two Dutch sim racing groups are all um, going to be racing six hours at the mom, um, GT3 class for charity so it's a pay to play event if you're interested in doing it the entry fee is five, five euro donation to Kika there's links in the description below to check that out. Um, if you um, are against cancer for children, then you can check, click on the link below and donate as well, uh, just in general to the charity. And yeah, there, I mean, there'll be more info coming on it soon. It's going to happen in August. I think the 3rd of August is, uh, is the date that that all sort of carries on. Um, there's a lot of guys signed up to it. Um, I think we're talking multiple lobbies per team now, so there's there's a lot going on. I don't know what my involvement's going to be in it yet. Um, whether the guys want me racing or what we're commentating. Um, like I said in the video yesterday, I'm happy with what I've um, 
so yeah, that's that's pretty much it about Kinka. Um, it, it's something that we're very passionate about. Um, when we get involved in something, I think we give it our full beans, and um, hopefully it takes off and it does really well. And I'm really looking forward to it. Even if I'm racing six hours sat in this chair, it sounds like absolute hell to me. But um, if it raises just a bit of money that, that helps this, then it's, it's money well, you know, it's time well spent. Um, right, so now that I've completed the, the last to second challenge, uh, I'll round this video off here. Thank you for watching. Um, if you like what you've seen, just subscribe. Um, go and check out Dark Smoker's channel as well, who live streamed his point of view. Uh, he also does a lot of other general commentaries and uh, GT Sport related stuff, and he swears a lot on his stream, so it's quite entertaining. So, um, I think he called, he's called me a few names, which is always nice. Um, and then there'll be links in the description for Geeka, there'll be links in the description for Mature Racing Club, there'll be stuff. Just just have a look below and there'll be stuff in there. I've not put anything in yet, but there will be things and items and words and letters. Maybe the odd smiley. Who knows? It's a mystery. I'm going to go and do it now. Thanks for tuning in. Shut me a subscribe, shut me a like, comment down below, whatever. Talk about dogs. It's fine. See you later, guys.